So I've been getting a lot of requests about my settings, just a lot of questions, what my res is, everything like that. So I thought I'd just jam pack it into a quick video for you guys. So straight away, we'll just go into my video settings. So I normally have 130 brightness, I don't change that. This is my resolution, I play black bars, not stretched. These are all my settings, a lot of people have global on high so they can see through monotops. I have it on low anyway because it's like I can see through a molotov just fine. I feel like there's not any points where I can't see through a molotov. So I have any alias in on times two because when you're losing a, using a low resolution, the game looks very blocky and MS times two doesn't use that much FPS and it makes the game look bearable. Like I like the way the resolution feels, not the way it looks. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. It's a weird way to describe it. And uh, UB shaders enabled as well. Next is my... Um, audio so I have 12 master 100 windows and I will have voice volume on 31% now the bomb I want it quite high so that I know when obviously there's only 10 seconds left I don't miss that last we have is all my game settings so stuff like my HUD do you guys want to know what my HUD looks like there you are there's the settings you need to get my HUD if you want to, know how to get my radar here are the radar settings as well this is the item stuff um, I guess next is my binds and settings, mouse settings. So I'm using 2.2 sensitivity at 400 dpi, 500 mouse hertz, or a thousand. I'm kind of changing it. I'm just experimenting a little bit. I've used 2.25 cents for years, man. And I feel like a tiny bit lower. It's quite nice. I have a tiny bit more control. Raw input on. So these are all my binds. Stop and check them at any point for anyone you're interested in. So next we've got is the launch options. So no vid means that there's no CSGO intro. This lets me tab in and out faster. This force is multi core rendering. This means offline servers are 128 tick. This lets me stream and capture CS with third party software. And this makes sure that my client is running at 128 tick. So next we have my NVIDIA settings. Now I've got Gamma on an extra 05 just because I like the way the game looks. But you guys are interested in my 3D settings. So this is my global 3D settings. It's kind of all on basic stuff. Like I don't really change that. It's just better to change the program in one. These are all my application settings. I've got, yeah, I've got all of this. If, if you want to copy it or whatever, pause it and change it. I don't know what I, would be the equivalent for AMD. I don't have an AMD card. I have a 1070. That's all the settings I have for CSGO. If you're wondering also about my monitor settings, I use an Acer monitor with 64 brightness, 64 contrast on the warm color temperature. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'll leave my normal config in the description. I'm gonna update my config soon as it's like a year old. I've got all the other stuff like my view model in the description as well. If you're wondering what my view model is right now, this is it. I sometimes do change it. Hopefully this is everything you guys needed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 200 subs for the end of the month. Check out my Twitch, I'm streaming regularly. Peace.